Hey guys, welcome back to Life by the Bow. Today what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go back in time to when we first took delivery of this 24 Pathfinder. And it was bare bones, didn't have any electronics, but of course, one of the first things that we installed on the boat was power poles, otherwise known to maybe some that aren't familiar with them, in layman's terms, hydraulic anchor poles. Additionally, they're just such a great product and I wanna show some love to the actual brand Power Pole by doing this video for them and you guys. We're gonna show you guys exactly how easy it is to install these on your boat, but at the same time, show you how valuable having these anchor poles on the back of your boat can actually be. So right now I'm adding the hardware to this bracket. And what's fantastic about these brackets is Power Pole makes brackets specifically for different jack plates, so there's no more drilling holes in your transom. You can go ahead and mount the power poles right to your jack plate, which is what I'm doing here. But basically, once we get these two pieces together, it's just a couple bolts, power pole attaches right here, and then from there, we're gonna install our pump, and it's that easy. All right, so brackets on now, two bolts, couple washers, as simple as that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the power pole, go ahead and mount it up here on the bracket, four more bolts, and then the power pole is officially mounted to the boat. After putting on the plastic covers, which are fixed just by four screws on each side, we then had to decide where we wanted to run our hydraulic line. So I chose right next to the rigging tube here just to get them very high above the water line just to avoid water intrusion. So I laid down some masking tape, made a template. That way I could decide where I wanted to actually drill my holes. They always say measure twice, cut once. So that's exactly what we were doing. And then we started drilling pilot holes. And very simple, once we got through to the transom and we decided that everything worked out perfect, we then went and ran the hydraulic lines through the transom. And Power Pull includes these rubber grommets on the hydraulic lines, so we just took some marine grade sealant, sealed them up just to make sure that they were extra watertight and just pushed them into the holes. And very simple, watertight hydraulic lines through the transom. Then once we got done doing that, we cleaned them up. I like using paper towels to remove the sealant. It's what I find easiest. And then we just went, pulled the hydraulic lines all the way through. And then we decided where we wanted to mount our pumps. Pathfinder makes things really easy. They had the perfect little spot right next to our saltwater washdown. And then we started marking our pilot holes for our power pull pump. Very easy, just four holes. And once we got done drilling our holes, just fastened in the screws. I like using a screwdriver versus a power drill, just helps to prevent stripping out the holes. But as you can see, power pull includes a little rubber washer that goes behind the pump. And then we tighten down two bolts and very simple. Now we're gonna attach the hydraulic lines to the pump and there's two different hydraulic lines. There's an up hydraulic line and a down hydraulic line. You have to make sure that you attach the up hydraulic line to the up fitting on the pump. Same exact thing for the down hydraulic line being on the down fitting on the pump. Moving along, now we're gonna add some hydraulic fluid, which power pole includes, which is really nice. And as you can see, Pathfinder actually pre-wires their boats for power poles, which is very convenient. So all we're gonna do is just add some heat shrink connectors here, which is very simple. Red goes to red, black goes to black. Tighten them down and of course, add some heat to the shrink connectors in order to make them watertight. But last thing to do is prime the power pole pump. I'm actually gonna include instructions in the video description below based on how to do that. But as you can see, the pump is working perfect. And in order to install duals, we just repeat the entire installation process all over again. So as you guys can see, really wasn't all that bad. We actually ended up doing a dual setup here on this boat, and it's something I highly suggest if it's within your price range. 
but basically the difference between one and two, obviously you have two in case one fails, but one of the biggest reasons why a lot of people do duels is simply just because when you drop that one pole, typically the boat spins or it pivots in the direction of the wind or current. So by having two, that basically holds the boat in the exact position, whichever way that you decide to drop the poles. But since we had a successful and clean install, it should be as simple as just double tapping the dash switch. That is one of the biggest reasons why people install these power poles on their boats. And if you've owned one or you've ever thought about owning one, I definitely test you to give the product a try and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But thank you guys so much for tuning into this week's video. Hopefully that gave you the confidence to either install a power pole or pull the trigger on one, but we know that we love them and we know that you guys will enjoy them just as much as us.